A snow-covered Seattle. We had a record-setting snowfall here yesterday of 6.4 inches. It's not over yet. We have more snow on the way for today as the West is inundated with this wet weather coming in the form of snow uh, in some of the higher elevations, even down to the lower elevations, and uh, some windy conditions as well. So uh, that's one of our biggest trouble spots across the nation. As we take a look at the bigger picture here, uh, you'll notice a little bit of a break in the action across parts of California, but we have another round of wet weather moving in as we head into the day tomorrow. A few other areas of concern that I want to point out. Not a whole lot of wet weather across the northeast for today, but we do have some windy conditions in these areas. Winds gusting up into the 40 mile per hour range may knock down some tree limbs or perhaps even some power lines in those areas. For the central U.S., we have some wet weather coming tonight uh, for parts of Missouri and into northern Arkansas, and it's in these areas where we we could see some snow mixing with rain or some freezing rain, and that will certainly uh, create some difficult travel conditions. Another round of snow on the way for portions of the upper Midwest and uh, certainly continuing to deal with the upper elevation snow and even some lower elevation snow across the West. So that has led to the National Weather Service issuing a number of advisories, warnings across the West, even a blizzard warning in portions of central Washington and winter weather advisory in Missouri.